All right. Let's talk about the weather, Crime Stoppers. Here is uh, a hurricane, Hurricane Lane. This is a big hurricane. It's a Cat 4 or 5, thereabouts, just getting into 5. Uh, it's going to start stalling out and getting cooler, though, because all this cold air is going to cool it down. And when it cools down, uh, it becomes uh, less violent. Right? The, it'll go from Cat 4 or 5 down to 3 to 2 to 1, eventually dissipate as it gets into the colder waters of the northern Pacific. But down here, where it can suck lots of heat off of the equator, I mean, look at that. You can just see it sucking the heat off of this and feeding itself energy. Um, and it's moving like this. I had this thing pegged. Uh, let's peg this right there. What do I get for a reading? I get it's now one. It's now 1589 north and 156.43 west. It was uh, 1499 north and 155.5 west. That means it's barely. it's moved a degree this way and a degree that way. Uh, that's a relationship of ba almost one to one. It's not quite. Uh, it's not quite one degree to one degree, but still, um, that would make it. Uh, if you can do some math and plot, uh, that would make it on a course that goes basically like this. If that would, I mean, all things considered, from what we have, right? There's two kinds of people in the world: uh, people that can extrapolate. Anyhow, so over here we have uh, low pressure for it to move into and we have all of this cold air and we should get some fun thunder and lightning because look at all this warm air coming up from the equator and cold air coming down from the northern pacific so when that warm pressure or excuse me when that warm uh, front hits that cold front you're going to wind up with lightning and thunder uh, also we had huge amounts of particulate matter because of kilauea in the atmosphere and therefore, uh, the cleanup crew is here. And this is an electromagnetic event, by the way. Um, I'm not even going to go there and bother with that. But the idea is that in order for uh, water to form, water vapor to form in large amounts, you need a particulate matter. And we have huge amounts of particulate matter all in this area of the Pacific because of Kilauea throwing up, uh, you know, sulfur dioxide, but I mean also actual particulate matter, ash, and, uh, you know, small particles of, uh, <laughs> from the volcano, uh, that fine, fine powder, uh, gets, I mean, it's practically, it's an aerosol and I can change the, uh, map to show the particulate matter. Uh, let's do that and we'll pause this for a second. Oh, uh, the colors are just so pretty. Uh, this is particulate matter. Uh, and it looks almost exactly the same as the other one, except you can see the particulate matter in the air. I mean, it's a slightly different thing, but it's a uh, very very similar. Uh, and what this is doing is showing the particulate matter that this hurricane is sucking up and pulling off of, uh, out of the atmosphere. And that particulate matter, as this warm air and this cold air get together, uh, you get condensation and there is no condensation without something for it to condense around. So the fine particulate is what it needs. And you're going to see huge amounts of water in this area right here. In fact, we're already getting it. It's raining here on Maui. Uh, it's raining on the Big Island. And it will be raining on Oahu by tomorrow. But uh, you're not going to have the high winds and stuff that they're forecasting. We're not going to get slammed by this because this is not going like this. It's going like this. And uh, like I said, over here, there is a area of low pressure for it to, quote unquote, slide into. It's not exactly what's happening, but close enough. The last one was surf. I oh, know. The last one was particulate, uh, and the one before that was surface. This is about a thousand. Oh, wait, ten thousand up. What is it there? Let's take a look here. It is one thousand, and you can see it's moving a lot faster the higher up the air uh, at the surface is not moving quite as quickly as it is at a thousand feet. Um, and remember, this mountain. That's a 10,000 foot mountain. That's a 13,000 foot mountain with a 12,000 foot mountain. Uh, so it makes a lee right there. But that's not enough to move this uh, system into, it's, I mean, yes, this thing carries its own, it's, this is its own animal, but it cannot run against a stream. Just like you'll never see it go this way. It's not possible. Unless there was wind coming up from the south over here, or we had konas as they call it uh, here in Hawaii, but if we had south, every once in a while, the, it changes direction and we have uh, the prevailing winds go this way. Now, if we had prevailing winds going this way and we had a hurricane moving into, and we've had that happen uh, when I was a younger man, much younger man, 
um, one of those hurricanes smashed right into us. But this one isn't going to be the one because it's not. It can't go against this grain. I don't know why they're trying to make you make it sound like it's going to do this. Now, let me show you the difference between politics and science. Politics, science. Here's the Europeans with their model. Here's the Americans with the model that shows. And I say I don't know why. Yes, actually, I do know why. Consume. Also, uh, there's a military base over here, and they enjoy. Uh, studying social media and the effects of social media on human behavior. Uh, and I'll leave it at that. But anyway, the idea is that uh, this is not happening. This is most likely happening. This whole fucking thing right here is bullshit. And it's annoying to me because they do. They get you guys to do whatever they want with uh, the news media. Government. What is government? Mind control. Oh, wait. Govern. To control, meant mind. Okay, so we say mind control, and we don't understand that government is control of mind or mind control. Uh, that's crazy conspiracy theory, but that's what the English word means. Government. Uh, they got you buying toilet paper and water, and uh, I think they're, they're. Anyway, it's just it's ridiculous. But the idea is uh, better safe than sorry. Yes, prepare and so forth. But going down there and hoarding water and you know down there, I mean, any stores on Maui seem the most. Uh, you're, they're showing pictures uh, all over the place where uh, the store shelves are empty because people have gone down there and just bought up all the water, all the toilet paper, rice bags of rice always seem to disappear. Right? I mean, really, what are you gonna do with a fifty pound bag of rice <laughs> if you're not a restaurant? Uh, 50 pounds of rice will last a family of four, a, a long, long, much longer than it would take to restore power and so forth. And most of you guys look and cook rice over a fire anyway. 99% of you wouldn't know how. Um, I used to know this, anyway, I can, I can, I can tell you stories about Koho Lave where, uh, freaking Polycapu Deadman, uh, he could make rice on a, on a camp stove and that thing was fluffy and, and the bottom of the pot not burned. Anyway. Uh, but the idea is that, uh, this is nonsense. The hurricane is coming. It is going to go by us. We are going to get wet, but it's not going to slam into us. All right. That's enough of that. Uh, take it easy, Graham Stuffers. E pluribus unum.